We pulled this carrot yesterday. So what I'm going to do, if we're getting into some warmer weather, I'm going to go ahead and pull these carrots and put a green pe uh, bell pepper in here, making progress towards the summer crops. Um, and I'll chop this up and put it in the freezer. And I will use it as we go, just to add as add-ins. There you go. So this is, this pot is just, looks like a barrel. It's one of the big ones that Walmart has these for like $24. I got these at Dollar General end of season last year for $8 a piece. So um, that's my suggestion is look at the end of the season and buy your pots and things then as much as your potting soil as much as your fertilizers as you can and it will save you money but i just wanted to show you that one's ready to come out he split so good decision to get these out all right i pulled those carrots got that many this round i have been pulling a few off and on so that's not bad for that little bed and considering most of them died during that winter blast we had um I'm going to put the uh, pepper plant back in here, so I'm going to charge the bed up before I put it in here. This is some 5, 4, 6 tomato, vegetable, and plant food from Echo Scraps, 5, 4, 6, yeah, 5, 4, 6. So I'm just going to put two handfuls of that in there, and uh, this is exactly where I'm planting. That's in the middle, that's where I'm going to be putting the pepper plant. I'm going to give him... Some um, alfalfa pellets, and I'm gonna dig those in a little bit like that. I'm going to top up this bed with some compost like this. All right, I'm gonna put you guys down. Be right back. Well, that took a minute or two, so I'm gonna put some eggshells. And uh, these are crushed up pretty fine, and some are not. But I uh, want that just to make sure they got calcium. I know it takes a while for it to break down, but I have watched some experiments where they say it does help. And uh, just think it's over at Soil Lab. So even though it takes a little while to break down, it still does help, uh, especially for tomatoes. And, uh, all right, I'm going to plant this thing. Come back to you in a second. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. Not sure I could prop you right there, and I don't have my little stand. Wasn't making videos today, but out here working. To get some things done, because it looked like we might actually get some rain, which we haven't had in a couple of weeks. All right. There he is in his glory. See, he was root bound. He needs to go in. So we're going to put some of those alfalfa pellets and some of that fertilizer right there around the outside of those. I don't know. Plant them in good here. All right. And he'll need a support in a lot. That's a green pepper. I planted a fire and ice pepper, which is an ornamental pepper, but cute right in front of my grow bed over there. I didn't film that, but just trying to get, I have a lot of cups of these and no more homes for them. So one more pepper in a pot's not gonna hurt anything. All right, so we got a tomato, got peppers. We still have some, some romaine lettuce happening here. We have some sweet potato slips going there and we have our early tomatoes. Isn't that a lovely sight right there? Look at that. Look at those tomatoes. Thanks for stopping by with the Crazy Grandma gardening show. See y'all later. Hi. I wanted to show you. Yes, look, it's full blows from here. And look, there's more. There's one there. There's one there. 